What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. We bring you guys life gains financial. Life gains money. And I read a startling article just the other day that is very alarming. And it deals with the way people are handling money. Not to mention that almost half of all Americans have some kind of consumer debt, the bad debt that's crippling their finances. So let's just kind of talk about what we can do to navigate these things and help you quit wasting money. But first, me put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft a little bit, giving you guys a more informed review and something better to look at. And if you like these glasses, you can get a pair for $5. Video description, firmo.com, they'll take good care of you. So the article I read basically highlighted what's going on with the consumption in America, what's going on with how we lose money. And for those of you who don't know, America is the number one consuming country in the world. And if you want to dig a little deeper into what that means, let's just think about how we spend money. The article I read said that the average American person is spending five to $15 a day frivolously and in some cases not knowing where they're spending that five dollars on and i'll give you guys some examples some of you guys eat out for lunch and breakfast nowadays you might as well say that's your 15 dollars right there some of you guys go hit starbucks and damn that's the most expensive coffee in the world you would think they get their ground beans from africa or south america directly and it's organic but the shit is not but those are two big areas where people spend money so let's talk about how much money you're blowing if you spend five dollars a day the bare minimum you are spending somewhere in the neighborhood of almost nineteen hundred dollars a year think about that five dollars a day times 365 is somewhere around the neighborhood of nineteen hundred dollars a day and most people don't have enough money for emergency funds. So let's think about what we can do if you corral that spending, that frivolous daily spending, and how it can help benefit you. So people are retiring nowadays with hardly any money for retirement. If you would take that $5 a day and put it into some kind of an interest-bearing account, stocks and bonds, my favorite app, the Robinhood app. If you don't have that, go download it, start investing in stocks. And those stocks and bonds or whatever are earning you 7% a year. Just 7% a year. And you start doing this at age 32. By the time you retire, you have over $400,000 saved up just by taking that same $5 and investing it in stocks and bonds or something that's gonna get you some interest around the neighborhood at 7%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something you have to do. This channel's about life gains. All the things that can improve the quality of your life. And I want you to really think about what are you spending in your day-to-day -day walk that's costing you $5 or more. One way that you can break this cycle, you can get out of this, this, this behavior, is to sit down with a notebook and for 30 days, every single day, document anytime you spend money like every day no matter if you spend it on your credit card no matter if you spend it with cash whatever you spend just write it down and go back after 30 days and just look and see what you can eliminate that you don't need you know uh, men we tend to go buy stupid trinkets and technology that is still sitting on the shelf ladies tend to go buy clothes yoga pants that they're, they're not even going to yoga so they just wasted the money on the yoga pants just go through and see what you're spending all this money on and see if you can take some of that money and put it to some kind of an interest bearing savings to help you have money at the end of your retirement cycle. I want everybody to make these gains in life. This is something I had to do. You know, I lost all that weight, but at the same time, I got discipline in every other area of my life, which also included finances. And I want to see to it that you all can do the same thing. We're all about being sexy as hell, but we want your quality of life to be sexy as hell too. And that is going to do it for this video on this day. Again, if you don't have that Robinhood app, download that Robinhood app. Pick some stocks that you really enjoy. Pick stocks that you use in your life if you are inexperienced until you get some experience. And just start building up that portfolio so that you can work to getting that 7% return on your money 
so that 30 years from now you can retire and really, really love your honey. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that life game. Get that Robin Hood app. Get that notebook. Start seeing where you're blowing money in your life so that you can make a change and start getting that nest egg saved up. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.